welcome back to the channel guys it is me 8744 so today we'll be doing our asian club round of 16 predictions for this year guys let me know your predictions in the comments below and are we going to see any upsets i hope i surely hope we do so start with the first match we got here guys it is australia versus indonesia shout out to indonesia indonesia did a fantastic job of getting out of the group stage Many of us didn't even think they would get out of the group. And for them to do this is unbelievable. And shout out to Marcelino. That Marcelino guy is a baller. I need to see him in the top clubs at some point in his career. As for Australia, they haven't really been convincing this tournament. They've been getting the results. Um, and so, yeah. For this one, though, I think Australia's going to win this. I just feel like Indonesia, for me, they're just too... They don't do enough for me going forward. And while they are not bad defensively, I just feel like, for me, Indonesia will be really defensive in this game. And I just feel like Australia is going to eventually break them down. It's going to be like a very scrap. It's going to be a very like hard fought win for Australia. And I'm going to say like a 1 or 2 nil win. I think I'm going to say 2 nil win actually at this current moment. Um, but, you know, Australia will definitely win, in my opinion, for this one. Next up, it is Tajikistan versus UAE. This is a tricky one. A tricky one to call, guys. Because Tajikistan have been playing really well. They've been playing. They have. They enjoy a lot of possession. And they're very good with chance creation. Um, they play really well as a unit, as a midfield and defense. My biggest issue with this team is that this team isn't clinical whatsoever. Whereas for UEE, they haven't really been that impressive. I'll be completely honest with you guys. I haven't been impressed with UEE. Um, I don't know why Ali Mahmoud has not been given a lot of game time. Um, maybe my UE, maybe, maybe my Emirati friend can explain to me in the comments below. That being said, it's a tricky one. And I was tempted to go with an upset, but ultimately, I do think UAE is going to win. I just feel like UAE have more experience at this extent in this late stage. And I just feel like for me, UAE have the class and composure and experience. So I'm going to say UAE wins this. I'm going to say, like, probably like another, I'll probably say another 2 0 win for UAE. Next up is Iraq versus Jordan. Iraq, for me, you could make a solid argument that they were one of the best teams in the group stage just by performances alone. I mean, look at what they did against Japan. Amin Hussein, that guy is a baller. Fantastic striker, man. Um, I believe he's the top scorer in the Asian Cup right now at this moment. So he's been a fantastic form. As for Jordan, they've also been really good. You know, Al Tarami has been amazing, etc. And I feel like this Jordan team looks great. I just feel like for me, though, Iraq just have way too much. Iraq just have way too much in their team, way too much firepower. They're, they also have Ali Adnan. And I feel like Jordan, for me, this is a tough for them. This is going to be tough for them. I will say this, though. I think Jordan can definitely do this, though, because. Jordan is a type of team that does really well in tournaments, and they defy the odds. So they can potentially get a result here. I wouldn't be surprised, but I do think Iraq should win this. I'm going to say Iraq wins this 2-1 over Jordan. Next up, it is Qatar versus Palestine. This is a big one, guys. This is a huge one. Qatar, man, the host nation goes up against Palestine. Palestine, a country that's going through a lot um, off the pitch, which I'm not going to speak about, but, you know, I want to mention that. And then, obviously, Palestine just won their first Asian Cup game in their history against Hong Kong, and they're also in the knockouts for the first time in their history. So, Palestine are playing with no, there's no pressure. Whereas for Qatar, there is massive pressure. After failing to deliver the World Cup, they need to go on a deep run like this. And for me, they cannot bow out in the round of 16. For Qatar, they have been great in the group stage. Absolutely fantastic. You know, I look at the players like um, Al-Mulis, Ali, um, Akram Afif, they've been amazing. And Qatar didn't concede a single goal. I believe Qatar is the only nation that didn't concede a single goal that advanced from the groups. So that's an incredible achievement. And Qatar, man, they've just been so good defensively, you know. But as as much as we say that, though, I don't think Qatar's group was just that challenging. I feel like Qatar, for me, had a pretty easy group. And we saw that in the day how that mediocre that group was. So I could see an upset. And if Palestine do win this, it'll be like a 1-0 no win. Because Palestine is not clinical whatsoever. Looking for that striker, Jabak, though. Jabak, he's one of their best players, I believe. So, for this one, guys, I think Qatar is going to win this. I think Qatar is going to win this. I think it'll be a tough win, though, because Palestine, we know, are really good defensively. So, I think it's going to be a tough game. But I think Qatar will just win this 1-0. And I can see, like, Almas, Ali, or Afif score, something like that. And, yeah, maybe Al Hados as well. He scored a banger against China. Moving on to Uzbekistan versus Thailand. This is a big one. This is a big one. And for me, if there, if you guys want to see an upset, I think this is the best chance we can get an upset. I think it's the best chance because I'm looking at both teams here. Uzbekistan, for me, had a pretty good group stage. You know, they did really well against India. Had a good display against Australia in the second half. But really, they weren't really that great as I expected them to. And remember, guys, they don't have that star striker, Shramov. He's injured, of course. As for Thailand, 
credit to this team because this team's preparation coming to this tournament was abysmal. Having only played one friendly, which was a hammering loss to Japan, was disastrous. Credit to them, though, uh, because actually, I, I want to correct myself. The island's another team that haven't conceded a goal in, in the group stage. They're the, they're the second team. I believe them and Qatar are the only two teams that have progressed in the group that didn't concede a single goal. So credit to the, uh, the island because they were fantastic in the group stage. You know, holding Saudi Arabia to a draw, um, beating, what is it called? I think they beat Kyrgyzstan, and they got a draw against Oman. So that those were pretty good results. You know, five points is actually pretty solid, you know. And I feel like for Thailand in this group, I think they I think they can do something here in this game because I think given how good they are defensively, I think they can frustrate Uzbekistan. And guys, I have a shock here, guys. I think Thailand's gonna beat Uzbekistan. I'm gonna say they win this one now. I just feel like Uzbekistan for me is a good team, but I feel like they're just going against a really solid defensive team. And I just feel like Thailand for me is just gonna find a way to do this. Either it's gonna be through penalties or an extra time. You know what? I'm gonna say Thailand wins this. One nil after extra time. I was tempted to go with penalties, but I'm going to say it goes. To, it, it um, I'm going to say that only gets it done in 120. But yeah, this is a close one. This could go either way. Next up, it is Saudi Arabia versus South Korea. Probably the best matchup of the round. This is a heavyweight clash. This is a heavyweight clash. Saudi Arabia for me in the group stage haven't really been convincing. I haven't been impressed with them. They've been getting results so. And it's just really weird, the Saudi team. The Saudi team is completely different to the team we saw in the World Cup. You know, a lot of those guys aren't really there anymore. As for South Korea, they've been very unimp unimpressive. Defensively, these guys look horror show. Jurgen Klinsmann needs to change his tactics, and I'm assuming that Jurgen Klinsmann will change his tactics with the knockout stage. I He better, because if he doesn't, there is a potential possibility South Korea can bow it very early, like in the round of 16, which if South Korea goes out of the round of 16, Klinsmann has to get sacked. I'm saying this right now. Klinsmann, you cannot get sacked. You cannot lose the round of 16. You just can't. That being said, I still feel like South Korea is a way better team than Saudi Arabia when it comes to on paper. Will it actually materialize, materialize, though? That remains to be seen. But I'm going to say South Korea still wins this. I think it's going to be a thrill of a match, though. I think it's going to be a thrill of a match. I think it's going to be a high score match, given how both teams I've not been convinced with. So I'm going to say South Korea wins this 3-2 just about and gets the job done. And then we have Bahrain versus Japan, man. Bahrain versus Japan. I feel really bad for Bahrain. They beat Jordan just to get top spot and having to play against Japan. Now, there's this ideas that maybe Jordan kind of threw the game because they didn't want to play against, um, what is it called, Japan, of course. Um, whatever the case is, though, um, Bahrain is having to do this. Like I said with Bahrain, I haven't really been impressed with them, to be honest. I feel like Bahrain in the group stage were very, very underwhelming. Yeah, they uh, they lost against um, South, South Korea 3-1. Then they got the result over Malaysia, but they had to score a last-minute goal. And then, as we just saw against Jordan, they you know Jordan basically threw the game. Um, they didn't really use their full-strength team, so... I think um, Bahrain, for me, we, we have to... We, it's hard to really judge them for what they did. You know, as for Japan, Japan have been a bit disappointed, you know. I think defensively, these guys look a bit, uh, a bit a bit vulnerable, especially in the set pieces. But I still feel like Japan, for me, still have too much quality. I still feel like this is Japan at the end of the day. You know, as bad as they are defensively, I still feel like Japan have way too much quality. The likes of Ueda, um, Minamino, Asano, these kind of players, I feel like they're just too much. Bahrain just don't have much going forward. They're just really solid defensively. And I just feel like once Bahrain concede, the Bahrain's game plan goes out the window. And it's going to be really, really bad for them. So I think Japan's going to win this. I'm going to say Japan wins this 3-1. I don't trust Suzuki, by the way, so he'll probably concede a goal. So that's the reason why I have Bahrain to get one. And then the final matchup we have here, it is Iran versus Syria. Shout out to Iran, man. Iran, were, for me, were fantastic in the group stage. I would say they were the second best team in the group stage. Osman and Taremi, that combination is so deadly. And I feel like... For me, that combination clicked in time before the round of 16. Because now those two are looking great. You know, especially Turam in the last game. He scored two goals against UEE. As for Syria, they were they put up a good resilient defensive performance. I have to give them that. Syria were so solid defensively coming into this Asian Cup. So I think they did really well, you know, conce um, um what is it called? Keeping a clean sheet against Uzbekistan, keeping a clean sheet against India, and only conceding one goal against Australia, which is pretty impressive. This is unfamiliar territory though for Syria because I believe it's the first time they ever advanced the knockout stage. And I just feel like for me, Iran have way too much. I feel like Iran have way too much for Syria. And I'm going to say Iran wins this. Uh, I'm going to say 2 0. I was tempted to go 3 0, to be fair. You know what? I'm going to say 2 0. I'm going to say 2 0. I'll, I'll, I, I won't go that far, but I, I think Iran is just about to edge it. So if my predictions come to fruition, this will be the quarterfinals we would get. We would get Australia versus South Korea. We would get. Um, Iraq versus UAE, Japan versus Iran, 
and of course Qatar versus the island. So I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe, of course. Let me know your predictions. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.